Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I uploaded a video, but I just wanted to say a few things. Uh, moving forward, I'm gonna try to upload uh, at least two videos per week. That's my goal. Most of the videos will be uh, educational videos. Uh, when I say educational videos, will be more like uh, me showing you guys what is the difference between polishing concrete, epoxy, or grinding seal. Why? Because I'm trying to bring more uh, information to the customer because I get this question a lot or for anybody is trying to get into business. And the other reason I'm making this video is because I want to tell you guys that I'm selling floor grinders now. I'm going to tell you guys what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. I'm going to keep it 100% real, man. If you have any questions, you guys can leave it on the comment. I know I haven't, I haven't responded to a lot of the comments. Uh, that I have been on the channel, but I'm gonna try to work on that. The same machine that we use to polish concrete, this big one here, uh, a small one is a little different, but that's what we're gonna start using now. Because when I started polishing around uh, 2003, um, there, there were not many floor grinders out there on the market. There's one that was very dominant, it's called HTC. That's the first floor grinder that I, that I started using and um, Back then, there were not a lot of small equipment. You know, either you had a 21 inch or a 32 inch. But now, if the game has changed, any floor grinder will polish the concrete. I will go more deep on all those details and all the videos because, uh, like I said, I'm going to be talking about my floor grinders. This is the floor grinder um, Beast 25, Beast 21. Uh, why 25? Because 25 inches from this point. To this here the width and this one is uh, 21 everything's pretty much the same it's just the size um, you have a front light here you have another light there that light you can move it around you have your water tank here you wait if you want to pull forward also you can go check out the website right there um, you have the entrance for the vacuum here, another light here under, and uh, you have the control panel here, your lights, uh, in other videos I will turn it on so you guys can see better, back and forward, it's always, to have a, uh, it's always good to have back and forward just in case your diamond closes down on you. Your speed here, your emergency button, from here, you can move the handle from here up and down or if you want to put it down it has uh one two three four five five adjustments all right guys you guys seen the floor grinders um all the things that i want to mention is that um it's going to be a few modifications in these uh and these grinders uh there's a few things that i don't like to be honest i don't like the skirt uh, either, I prefer like the standard um, I'm gonna take the light out I think two is enough maybe change the weight style the water tank I'm better at opening on, on top if you are that person trying to buy your first grinder give us a call man I was in the same situation I can relate to that you know um, back then I didn't have the money to um, to buy the equipment I was saving saving you want a simple machine you know, you don't want to get too confused. Um, all the thing, when I wanted to buy my first grinder, first I wanted, I know I wanted to buy HTC. Then I realized all the companies that were selling machines and I got confused. So everybody was telling me, you know what, you should buy my machine because mine is better. And I'm not telling you that mine is better. I'm telling you that any floor grinder can polish the concrete. I think the price is very competitive with all the floor grinders. If you barely get into polishing concrete or any type of concrete restoration and you need a grinder to prep your floors, the grinder that I'm trying to sell, I want it to be the simple machine you can have. Especially if you're starting, you don't want a very luxury floor grinder where you're going to waste your money if you're something like this is going to do the job. And I'm telling you because this, this is what I've, I've been using. You know, sometimes we go by looks. Oh, I like that grinder because it looks this way or, or stuff like that. It's the same thing with cars. You know, when you buy a car, you might like this car because it looks some sort of way or you like the color or something. Same thing with the same concept with the floor grinders. But 
I'm trying to bring you guys uh, with the more economical floor grinder that I can bring you guys. Um, you want something luxury? Sure, I can give you something more luxury as well. Why? If you don't need it. You know what I mean? If you got the money, okay. But don't get me wrong, guys. Um, doesn't matter where you buy. A floor grinder is, you have to see it, it's like more like an investment. Because if, let's say you buy a floor grinder, it's gonna last you for five years. That depends, it all depends how you take care of the grinder. You know, it's like your car. If you don't take care of your car, you don't do the oil change, stuff like that, it's not gonna last you for a long time, you know? Same concept with this one here. You, uh, depends how you treat your machines and stuff like that. I know some floors are more rough than others. If something goes wrong, it's gonna go wrong with the computer or or something like that, but it's easy. You already have the frame, you just replace the computer. It's not gonna cost you like the same as the machine or the motor. If the motors go out, just buy another one. You already have the frame of the machine. You're not buying the entire machine again. You can always fix it, you know, instead of buying a new grinder. Hope you guys like the video and uh, I see you guys in the next one.